Also, welcome back, guys. Uh, this is your boy Nick from 3D Animation Guru, and uh, <coughs> this uh, today I just want to show you how you can uh, export a file from the SketchUp. Let me just go now, not in motion, but SketchUp. Uh, from the SketchUp uh, building like this one, if you like this building, you can just uh, export it to the uh, Sketch uh, to the Unreal Engine, and maybe you just try to use it on your project. This building is free. You just need to go to the let me just go somewhere like uh here on the 3d warehouse check on it just download the building that you want like if i just come here just like modern uh house which is i wish everything is free here and you don't need to pay anything like you can just come and download anything that you want here so on the 3 so let me just get if you want to import a building from the uh uh what do we call it a building from the SketchUp to the Unreal Engine. This is the Unreal Engine here. And to use it on your project. So what you just need, you need to install what we call the Datasmith. This one here. This one you can just go to the plugins. And if like you see on the, my, on the let me just click building plugin. Just like Datasmith. Uh, Datasmith and you can just you need to activate them all of those one here like uh, cad so i just activate them here because you yeah it doesn't make sense to not to activate one and then doesn't work so like but the most important one i uh, i'm so sure is the datasmith fpx importer this is the most important one so when you just activate it if you want to know that whether it is here activated it will appear here and like you can see you have import and link datasmith file so um what you just do then after you have done that one, so you just also need the data smith for the um sketchup so you just need to come here on the website so let me cancel that one and you just search for the data smith export plugin and when you have this also like you have so many files here like your sketchup pro exporter and you just download it this one is like a uh, exporter for a little agent 4.26 but uh, you can just yeah, just uh, 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 download it, and then when you install it, it's just going to be installed on your uh, computer. Uh, so on your uh, SketchUp here. So when now you download uh, is uh, installed. So what you just need like you just need to come and open this uh, project here. Like let me just say let me just say new. Um, no, I don't want to save anything. When you open the SketchUp for the first time, this is how it will look like. So I just need to come and say open. And I have this file that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse where I showed you. Just click open. And it is, it is just me that I just need to make some changes. So I just say no. And when I'm done, now I have my, my building inside the SketchUp. So now I just want to bring this building to the um, a lead engine. So what I just do, I just come here and I just want to say I want to export it as a 3D model. And this is now where you have to think like on my document where it's just going to be saved. So I can just leave it there. Here I'll get it good. I can just say a little agent um, export. Uh, file and then here you have you don't export it as an fpx you need to come the when you just install this one successfully you'll be having this one here the allele agent data smith so you just need to click allele agent data smith and then just click export and this is just going to take some few seconds and right now is so when it's done now you just need to to minimize that one come to one little agent then you just need to come here to the data smith click data smith it will just open to you remember where you saved your file you just saved your files on the documents come and check on it now you have this file here a little agent click it uh before i forgot to say something let me just cancel this one because i don't like to do that one before i do anything i like to click a new folder like i can just call it um sketchup because uh if you don't do that on you everything will be scattered here on your first window which is not good i don't like it open this folder here and now go back to your 
um, the, a data smith here, create this data smith, uh, go to uh, documents. Remember that you saved our project on documents. Then click this one here, say okay. It's now going to ask you like where you want to choose a location for import your data smith. Like we said, I have this that uh, SketchUp, which I already made this file. Then it's just say okay. To ask you whether you want to import all those things, I, I would recommend you, maybe you can leave something like Camilla, all right, because you just need, you, you can just make them back and use the, um, the a little agent Camilla, all right. And you don't have animation, so you can just leave, you don't have animation, you can just leave animation. You can also leave something like Camilla and Light, we don't need them. But we need the geometry and uh, I'll just let's let's just leave the lights or the video of them. So just click import and this just in a few seconds you're just going to have now your building on Unreal Engine. So let's see. So I'm just waiting for this one to finish, although it's done. And right now it's just going out to open. I think this is not going to take long. Sometimes it's easier. So now see, now you have your building and now you can see like now what you imported, like you import the materials, the geometry. This is everything like for the geometry, everything that is coded on this building. Everything is there. So if you just need to make some modification, you don't need to go back to the SketchUp. You can just get everything there. Then we have the material, like all the material used to make this building. They are all there. So then you have like something like the temperature. The folder is empty because you imported the light and the texture. So you have everything now important to your. So we can just zoom this one. So let's see. And sometimes I like to keep this on there so that I can know where is my beginning and where is my end. And now, like you can see, now you have your building here, which is still compiling. So the reason why is like that one. You just need to give it some time to finish compiling. And when it's done, now you can be able to start using your building for your project and so many things so like you can see this the building is if you just want to get somewhere a building like this one it will cost you a lot of time and stress to get it there so now this is now how you import your building it's just simple go to the first of all go and activate this plugin like i showed you here the plugin then just go to the building plugin just like the data smith activate all those plugins when it's activated, it's just show you here. Then go to the internet to search for the data smith export plugin. Install this plugin. Right now they have also for a little agent 4.26, but I'm using a little agent 4.25. And now, like you can see, this building is also becoming because the shaders they are getting compiled and everything. And you can just do those all those things there you can just edit them and make them look the way you want to see them looking like like you can have you have this one the sitting room here it's a just a very good tool like and you have all those looms here and everything so it's you get every other whole building the one that you want and then you can just add your characters and you can just now start doing your uh, a project using this on the free building and like you can see the building is so big but a little agent make it easy to move inside it's not complicated like a little agent makes everything look so like you can see you have another uh, sitting room here you have a swimming pool outside you have a dining room it's amazing like amazing thing to do like using the sketch up and just bring this building here so uh on soon i'm just going to show you how like you can just you can just use this one uh building to make it on the twin motion here 
you make it look cool like the swimming pool look so amazing you bring so like the this one the dark sea yeah, this is the same building that we imported the unlaid aging also did a video to show you how you can bring it to the twin motion and when you're done is that you can uh be able to bring the same building like that looks so amazing back to the unlaid aging when you have done so i'm just going to show you another video where you can just do it so don't so that you don't miss that video just subscribe down there leave a comment if you have any question and i'm expected to see you on my next video and if you feel like there's something that you can help me or you can just advise me don't forget to tell me because uh, i'm just doing this one to teach you guys how you can do this or, or everything here so that's how you bring your building to the agent free and easy thing so bye for now and hope you to see you on my next video bye bye guys